Hey everybody, Genesis Jones here from Total G Shockers. And in this episode of the Top 10 Things You Should Know About video series, we'll be going through the GPR B1000 TF-1, which is the Magma Ocean Limited Edition Rangement. Let's get into it. Introducing the 35th anniversary Magma Ocean Rangeman model, which is part of the Master of G collection of G-Shock watches. This watch, which first hit the G-Shock scene in November of 2018, and with the much anticipated December 2018 release, comes equipped with special functions for use under extreme conditions on land. Now this model incorporates the basics of the early G-Shock watch from 1983 while also adding new value with a theme based on the magma ocean that has covered the earth since its beginning. So let's get into the top 10 things you should know about the GPR B1000 TF-1 Magma Ocean Rangeman. Number 1. Color. The color of the watch is black with gold, red, black, and silver accents. Now, the Rangeman has an all-black bezel, digital display, sapphire crystal with non-reflective coating, big buttons, and a two-tone carbon fiber insert band with a black outer resin band and a red inner band. Number 2. Construction The Rangeman, being a G-Shock, is of course shock resistant. Also, water resistance is up to 200 meters on this rangement. In addition, a special low temperature resistant construction guarantees operation of the watch display when temperatures reach as low as negative 20 degrees Celsius, which is negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the mud resist construction helps to ensure that nothing gets into the watch when you have to complete those down and dirty tasks that take you deep into the dirt and sludge. Further, we have triple sensor capabilities, which provide instant access to direction, barometric pressure, temperature information, and altitude when needed under those survival tough moments. Number three, power source. The Rangeman has two power sources. The first is a solar charging system. This option is solely for supporting the GPS functions on the watch. Being the world's first solar assisted GPS navigation, solar charging allows you to charge the watch in bright light if the battery becomes depleted from the use of the power hungry GPS functions. The second option is through wireless charging. Now for this option, there is a charging cradle that you set the case back of the watch into and begin charging. Now just to make a distinction. I know you see that there's also a type A USB cord attached to the cradle. So you may be wondering, didn't you just say that this was a wireless charging option? And the answer is still yes. Now I was a little confused at first, but here's the explanation. Because you are not technically plugging the micro USB cord directly into the watch and instead are plugging it into the charging cradle, it is considered wireless charging. So just a quick clarification because there have been questions about this power source option. Now both of these options work together to keep the Rangeman in operation and support activities in the great outdoors. Number four, battery life. The Rangeman's approximate battery life is 20 hours when there is continuous GPS reception, 33 hours when there is intermittent GPS reception, approximately two months when the GPS is off and the watch is in normal day-to-day -day operation, and 29 months when the GPS is off and the power saving function is on. Number five, digital compass slash thermometer. Now jumping into the triple sensor functions, the digital compass is able to measure and display direction as one of 16 points with the measuring range being from zero degrees to 359 degrees and one degree measuring units. Now, with this rangement, there is 60 seconds of continuous measurement, there is a hand indication of north on the watch, there's bidirectional calibration and magnetic declination correction. Now, for the thermometer, the display range is from negative 10 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. This is 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit and is measured in units of 0.1 degrees Celsius and 0.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Number six, altimeter slash barometer. When it comes to the altimeter, the measuring range is from negative 700 meters to 10,000 meters. This is equivalent to negative 2,300 feet to 32,800 feet and measures in units of one meter and five feet. 
Also, on this rangeman, the barometer has a measuring range that is from 260 hectopascals to 1100 hectopascals. This is equivalent to 7.65 inches of mercury to 32.45 inches of mercury, and it measures in units of 1 hectopascal and 0.05 inches in mercury. There is also an atmospheric pressure tendency graph, as well as a barometric pressure tendency information alarm, which beeps to indicate significant change in pressure. Number seven, GPS slash mobile link. The GPS navigation allows you to collect location data from GPS satellites and display the current location on a route or bearing to a destination all in real time. It also gives you the option to save up to 20 tracks and 60 points of data and memory, including longitude, latitude, altitude, and temperature points. Also, the saved tracks and points can be displayed using a wide area 3D map as well as a timeline. Calculate start to destination direct distance, destination setting from point memory recordings, the backtrack function, and so much more. The mobile link function allows you to connect your watch to your phone via Bluetooth and with the G-Shock connected app so that you can receive data from time service to keep accurate time anywhere in the world. You can also easily configure world time cities, alarms, and timers all from this app as well as more features including tide graph, moon data, sunrise sunset time display, one touch time adjustment, and a phone finder. Now make sure that your arrangement is within two meters within your smartphone for your Bluetooth to communicate effectively. Number eight, world time. The GPR B1000 has world time, which includes up to 39 time zones. This is 39 different cities plus UTC, which is coordinated universal time. In addition, there is daylight saving time and also the option to access over 300 more cities through the mobile link function, if 39 cities just isn't enough for you. Number nine, timekeeping. Now timekeeping is one of the obvious functions for this watch. On this arrangement, it includes five daily alarms, which breaks down to four one-time alarms along with a snooze alarm, there is a one second stopwatch whose measuring capacity is up to 999 hours, 59 minutes, 59 seconds. The measuring modes available are elapsed time and split time. The countdown timer counts down from 24 hours in units of one second, and you can set the countdown timer in one minute increments. Other timekeeping functions include the 12 24 hour format and a full also calendar, which is pre-programmed into the year 2099. Number 10, other functions. Other functions on the GPR B1000 arrangement include the power saving function in which the display goes blank in order to save power when left in the dark, the button operation tone, which is the function where you can have each button sound whenever you press it. This of course can be enabled as well as disable anytime on your arrangement. There's also the super illuminator LED light with afterglow. Now the weight of the watch is 142 grams. The case size is 60.3 millimeters and the retail price is $900 in U.S. currency. So there you go. Those are the top 10 things you should know about the GPR B1000 TF-1 Rangeman Magma Ocean Model. Now if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. All I really care about is making relevant and valuable content that will help you out so your feedback is greatly appreciated. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. We're dropping content every single day, so I want to make sure that you get notified when a new video drops. That's all for now. I'll talk to you soon. And as always, continue to rock your G-Shock nonstop. Deuces!